Hey guys, this is Julian from the Binary Lab. Just want to do a quick recap video. Uh, actually, this is very close to uh, the time I should be heading out to catch a movie. But these were trades I announced to my group in the Binary Lab. This is only the last signal of the day. Very, very slow moving day where the, M, the M, uh, M1 was pretty much all confusion. And, and I told my guys that, you know, if you guys really want to trade, let's go out higher time frame. Not, not even the 5, because 5 also kind of messy, but let's go out to the M15. So um, basically, I, I told them to do a position for uh, 75 minutes on the Aussie USD, the Aussie JPY, the New Zealand USD. And I've marked out the various entries. Uh, these were the prices that I mentioned. And I also specifically told people uh, whereabouts they should be taking the entry. Okay, so. Um, this is a time frame to take the trade on the M15, but I told them to take the M. Uh, I told them, you know, <clears throat> but you know, to illustrate the thing a lot better, I showed them on the M5. And I want to specifically want to share with you today in this video mm -hmm. is not just about how well these trades worked out <clears throat> on a very slow and confusing day, but as a matter of fact, these trades were all in the money by a certain amount of range. Like this is uh, 14 pips on the Aussie USD. The Aussie JPY is in the money by about 13 pips, and the New Zealand USD is in the money by, let's see, this is about 8.8 pips. Okay, that's Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the this is the result. And now I also want to teach you a little bit about Fibonacci in this video. And this is just a little bit of a teaser. Okay, uh, I told my students in the binary lab that it's imperative that you get in the trade at a really, really good price. Uh, this one, like I said, you know, I, I was telling you guys that if they're a little bit less, you know, 652, they still can take the trade. But if it goes, it goes too close to 11.1, uh, it gets a bit dangerous. You know why? Because many a time all right this is not bad this is this is a fairly decent pullback okay it may still continue to go up it may fully reverse down we don't know that but uh very often sometimes the price can just go like totally sideways between maybe uh 11.1 a little bit uh if the, if this was not a candle body but a wick it would instead be going about like this if i go to m30 maybe you will see a bit more of a wick exactly like see this like that so this is like the wick, all right, and uh, the same same setup chart basically, and so in this case, can you imagine if you went in at twenty three point six, uh, and it goes sideways, you are running yourself a big risk of losing the trade. But because uh, what I teach people to do is not just these, and these are just some of the indicators I use. The full template is available for members of the binary lab, but uh, I actually give them ways to qualify a trade and show them how. You know, we, we will be able to get in just at the top and if beyond a certain range, it's not, it's not worth to take the trade anymore. Like beyond the 23.6, you know, I, I would say just don't do not do it. If it's after 11.1 and I, I draw my Fibonacci based on the, the, the most recent movement, that's how I do it. Uh, same with this one and uh, like this this one as well. Now, let's check out this, this trade too. This one also worked out very well. Um, now, another thing that you guys want to know is sometimes, right, the trade will get back to a 50% retracement very fast. Uh, when it does that, let's say, you know, if within two candles, it's really at 50%, sell the damn trade, okay? Uh, if it goes to if it goes to 38.2 on the dot, sell the trade. If it's a little bit past the line, good, okay? So very, very healthy uh, would be slight movements. Like this one, it went past, came back a little bit, went past. You see, as long as it goes a little bit past, it will linger around. A little bit past, goes a bit past, goes a bit past. And maybe this one still has room to go under 30.2, I think. This is probably good to go. But will I still trade this? No. Number one, I have to get out of the house. Number two, uh, I, if I want to do this trade, I'll get in the, the top. At the top. And I, that gives me the most chance for win. And this one as well, um, it, it still has room not much room i don't know if it's gonna even make its way past uh 30.2 because 
we may just do a bounce on the moving average right here. So uh, anyway, this is just a quick wrap up. Uh, if you if you sign up to join the binary lab, you actually get to join me on live webinars where I can pick out trades, not just uh, longer term ones, but short term ones. Most of the time, I'm doing my like M1. M1, I can pick uh, many many trade opportunities within a short period of time, and uh, on top of that, um, this is this is you know. <laughs> okay, so we just had some feedback from the members. Thanks, Julian. Good spawning. I took them all good. Uh, this is a this is actually a Telegram group that you can access on your cell phone as well as your your computer, whether it's PC or Mac, and. Uh, this is the kind of commu uh, communication that goes around inside of my of my my social uh, group. It's not just this; we also have a Facebook group right here as well. That is uh, that you guys can check out on Facebook. Replays are posted as well inside of that. So uh, that's all. That's some of the highlights that you get to see. You get to, you get to see me taking explain trades. And uh, if you wish to sign up for the binary lab, just head on to. This URL right here, I'm going to type it out to you. It's Alright, so the binary lab.net slash join binary lab. I'll see you on the inside. My name is Julian Wong. Goodbye for now.